All right, what's up everybody? This is another request gameplay and this is using the M60 light machine gun. If you haven't noticed guys, I am trying to mix it up for you. I'm trying to use different stuff. PM9s, light machine guns, sniper rifles. I'm uh, playing, you know, regular 6v6, doing kill confirmed and also mixing in my regular domination and ground war. So, I'm um, hopefully hopefully you guys do notice that and you are enjoying my videos. I know Modern Warfare 3 at this point is getting stale, but hey, it's the only Call of Duty we got right now. I mean, I can go back and play Black Ops, but let's be honest, the game's old. You know, it's kind of annoying. We all want to play the latest and greatest stuff. I personally can't wait for Black Ops 2. At this point, it's just a waiting game. The last two or three months are the worst because the game. usually the current Call of Duty's old. Everybody's ready for the new Call of Duty because they're hearing all this new information. So, yeah. Anyways, let's talk a little bit about the gameplay. This was a double Moab on the map Interchange. I'm not going to give any tips for Interchange because I've already given them for this map. Um, all I can say is, you know, keep them on A if you can. If you can't keep them on A, then um, try to clear them out of C and put them back on A. I mean, that's that's really the name of the game here. Um, I was playing solo in this match. I was on, Actually, I was playing with one buddy. I was playing with Scrub Killer. I didn't have a team with me. So you notice me using a light machine. It actually fits pretty good in this style because when I do play by myself, I play a little more cautious role. And um, I like the light machine guns because of the fact that they are camping weapons. These are designed for camping. You can rush with them if you have a party and you're able to get a good spawn trap. You can actually go in there and go ham. Um, it's, light machine guns are good because they have so much ammo and you can pretty much just spray and pray all day long. So, uh, yeah. But I want to give you guys some tips as far as the recoil. I hear a lot of people talk about light machine guns, but, you know... They don't really give proper tips. Something about light machine guns that you guys got to realize, and this is also with every single gun in the game, recoil is based on your player's stance. If you're standing up straight with the light machine gun, you will have the most recoil. If you crouch down on a knee, you'll have less recoil. And if you lay down prone on your stomach, you will have very little recoil. Like this, for example, I'm shooting long range. Look how much my gun is jumping. It's not moving at all, is it? It's just barely moving. I have a lot of accuracy laying prone. However, when I stand up, the gun bounces up and down. So that tactic is really good for light machine guns, laying prone in choke points, um, laying, you know, sitting down on a knee whenever you can, like crouch walking around a corner. That works as well. I found that whenever people are crouch walking and I try to shoot them as I turn a corner, it's very, very hard because they don't have any recoil and it, and they almost, it almost seems like they have no flinch either. I don't know what's up with that. But um, right there, I ended up calling in the first Moab because of the fact that the enemies kept camping like I got the first Moab and then we were actually losing the game by quite a bit and I was trying to push forward and I couldn't break their defense so the easiest way if you if you do get a Moab early on save it until you can't break through the defense and then call it in usually some of the tryhards on the other team will back out which will open up a, a couple paths for you to run through and yeah just didn't just go ham on them like I did here as soon as the Moab went off I tried to ride that same momentum and I got up in their spawn got on a quick specialist bonus right here and then I rode that specialist bonus all the way into that second Moab um, something you guys got to do too and I said this in a couple of my double Moab videos is don't be afraid to, to play a little more cautious like right here I could have I could have went balls deep on them I mean I had those guys on their on their heels you know towards the end of this game I pick up an ACR right here I decide not to use it because I came this far with the M60, hell, why not finish it out with the M60, right? So, um, yeah, I could have went balls deep earlier, but I decided not to push into the spawn just yet. I actually retreat a little bit here. I could have, I don't know why I knew that guy was coming. I, just instincts. I knew they were probably going to rush my teammate, and my teammate wasn't paying attention to his right. So I backed up, caught that guy slipping, and I survived a should have been knife. I should have got shanked right there. It seems that whenever I turn those corners, I always get panic knife. Luckily, I didn't. I would have been really pissed. But yeah, um, at this point, I know they're spawning A, so I could have done one of two things. I could have went the easy route, and I could have kept pushing forward to the left, which would have cut it close. I wasn't quite sure exactly how far I was into my Moab streak, so I said, you know what? Let me let me catch this guy that my teammates missed back here at Charlie, and let me actually go for the flank. And you're going to see me get really, really lucky. There's a little concrete barrier, which is right here on Interchange, and when you look over it, you can see... A pathway usually snipers run this route like right here you see that guy on uh, marksman nine out of ten times that's a sniper and he's aiming directly where I'm where I'm shooting from so I actually got lucky that that guy didn't shoot me he knew and he wasn't a sniper so I mean you do need a little bit of luck in your gameplays but I got really lucky in that instance so I pushed forward pick up the double Moab and then I switch off to my ACR here in a second I just go ham on these guys at the end 
Uh, I think I reel off like a quick six or seven kills as well with the ACR. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this gameplay. Um, M60, what do I think about it? I think it's probably the second best light machine gun. It's really, really powerful, especially with specialist bonus and like a silencer and red dot like, I, like I'm using it here. It's, it's just, I can't explain how beasty it is with specialist bonus. All the light machine guns are beasty. Uh, probably the best light machine gun is the MK46. Um, closely, clo M60 is right there with the L86 as a as a close second. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoy the light machine guns. I'll probably have that another L86 gameplay up for you guys. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Leave a comment for me, and I'll try to get it. I mean, keep it realistic. Don't say pistols and knife only Moabs and, and crap like that. I know you guys are wanting more assault gameplay, so I'll work on getting some assault for you as well. And as always, guys, thanks for watching my videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. Final score was 76-5. and five. Peace.